Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. So, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Done. Pasta Pronto. Pronto. Happy Friday. Oh, happy Friday. We can say happy Friday. Uh, three years ago, yesterday, we landed back from our last trip to Italy. We've been to Rome for a few days. And three years ago was 2020. And we all know what happened in 2020. Yeah. Especially in, let's say, March. Yeah. And Italy was particularly badly affected to start with. Uh, yeah. we, we did see, we saw the start of that actually, didn't we? Yes. We're now heading back to Italy. Somewhere new, we've never been, we're going yeah. to... Venice. We're also doing something that we've never done before, and you'll see that very soon. So come and join us. Cue the music. Now, these backpacks that we've got on, <laughs> backpackers. Yeah, I feel like a snail. <laughs> They're actually from IKEA of all They're places. fantastic actually, as long as it's not too big to pass it with me, because if it is, we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Now, where we want to go, where we want to go, I think, is down here. It is down here. Access for this, we've got through yeah. a special account that Helen's got with La Caixa Bank. Gets three admissions to a airport lounge. Well, it gives me a priority lounge pass card. I think it only includes three admissions, but we'll try to get our way back and see what happens. And I've never been in an airport lounge before, so I'm an airport lounge virgin. And me too. I've never been in one before neither. Actually, we're not in Venice. No, we're outside Venice at one of the airports. The bus tickets at the minute with the Barzi bus service, it's the one that I looked at online, it's it 40 minutes. Directly, the lady selling the tickets are directly outside of the uh, main entrance from the airport. And there are a few different bus services. Yeah. Um, but this one's Barzi. We've got a round trip for 18, Eight, 18 euros, euros each. 18 euros each, 10 euros one way. 18 if you book a round trip, so we've got two round trip tickets. And that there reminds us of the, I don't know what it's called, but at MCO like a, Orlando. It's like a monorail. Yeah. But we're not in Orlando. It's very foggy. Really foggy. And we don't know what the hell we're doing and where we're going. It makes it really difficult to try and get any sort of bearings because we can't see any sort of landmarks or anything because it's too foggy. So we're probably going to end up finding the hotel tomorrow morning because we're going to be so lost. Stressed and killing each other before we get there. Yeah, we'll just fall off and have a couple of drinks. morning today we are morning. in I nearly said Valencia Venice is the word he's looking for not Venezuela not Valencia not, not Vienna behind us is the hotel that way we, we've got it's very central 
very it's in a great location yes nice and clean yes very very basic two star but trying to find something with a ensuite bathroom yeah in, in it's difficult. Venice is not easy uh, we're going to show you what we see and we're not going to go into a lot of details a lot of it's just going to be you'll see it as it is it is carnival We've got tickets to get into St Mark's Basilica and to go up the bell tower as well. We did get food last night, it was... Mm. It were mediocre. There we go, just on queue. And as you can see, you've got people already dressed up. It is quite foggy at the moment, but I think that's going to lift in a little bit. So the weather's looking... It's not... I don't think it's cold, but visibility might not be great. It is considerably busier now than it was last night when we got yeah, here. It was quite late last night when we got here, and I think the main festivities have finished. So, I've got like an eye on it. Like take a look at the masks in the window. There's, you're going to see lots of masks. This is what you expect to see when you come to Venice. The frittellis is the speciality, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the carnival. speciality for carnival, so we need to try that. We've not tried anything like that yet. And we've seen that most of them are doing them three for five euros. Yeah, they've all got different flavours inside them. Um, but look at the cannoli, they're huge. Oh, we like cannolis. So we've just had coffee. It Prices are a little bit more expensive, but we expected that. We were surprised last night and today by how many places actually do the equivalent to a menu del dia for not bad money actually yeah they start at about 13 euro so that really is well that's as cheap as spain really yeah you got the odd market stall here and there and i'll give you an idea we're just coming up to a <laughs> like a market stall an idea and the sort of masks that you can get but we've even seen some like steampunk masks and things as you know we like our food oh look at this i'll give you an example of the pizzas look and the pizzas by weight yeah, which is what we had in rome yeah you pay pie, but, uh, pay pie. per yeah pay per 100 grams so you've got sandwiches in there I'm going to show you the window because you're not allowed to take any photos or videos inside. Hopefully you'll get to see the variety of the, reflection off the glass. There's actually a guy in there make, working and making these masks as oh, you watch. Oh, is that what he was doing? Yeah, I mean, look at that. That, that one there from Alice in Wonderland, the white rabbit with the yeah. watch. He's telling you not to take photographs. That was out inside, not outside. Yeah. Anyway. He's just told us off for taking photographs. Doing the video. It's one of those. Um, they are really good. The original ones look like they're done out of paper mache. Um, Let's walk on as we're talking because he's going to be back ones. out again in a minute. believe we've not had anything to eat yet we're slackers but this is a patisserie that we're at now but they don't I mean, look they? these are, well, they, these meringues meringues but these fratellis don't actually look as nice as the ones that were the other ones that we've no, seen these just look, look a bit like donut 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 yeah so i'd rather not get anything from here i'd rather move on but if we look here <coughs> more meringues i mean the meringues are stacked up like there's no tomorrow and they look like, like pizza mini, cups. Mini pizzas don't forget uh, like, subscribe and ring that bell. Yes, Is but that, that what you were going to say? No, it wasn't actually. <laughs> Don't forget to what? Don't forget to take a look on Instagram. If you look on Instagram, we, we share, it's usually Helen that does it, it shares different photos from the events that we go to. So there's some cracking photos that mainly Helen's took that's uh, from various events and trips and things that we've done. Would you believe that this is a spa? Now, we've seen some stuff that's all right. The masks actually, we, we, we won't mind, but we've just seen some right tat and we've seen some freaky stuff. That is tat. That belongs to Lucky Lucky Man. <laughs> <laughs> and if you like that sort of thing, sorry. So, Moreno Glass is uh, a local speciality. We could actually have a trip to the Moreno Glass blowing place if we want to, but we'll see what time we've got. Yes. 
So the, the they're Murano glass as well, yeah. I think, the, the balloons. There are, there are shops all over here selling Murano glass. I think I'm going to get us a wine glass, seeing as I already said this, didn't I, last night? Seeing as ours are broke. Look at the little mice up there. It looks like Remy. <laughs> So it begins. We are at a, a, a Gigetti, I think it's called. Yeah, yeah one of those. Uh, Gigetti Venetiani, in Bonn. A bit early for wine yet. I don't even think it's 11 o'clock. Well, a lot of people are already drinking their Aperol spritz <laughs> and, the, and the glasses of wine, but I think we'll hang fire a little bit. So we have a, a this is the local delicacy thing. It's got cream in that, I think, hasn't it? It has, yeah. And then we've got some more stuff coming. And coffees. And I've just realised they've got all the masks hanging from the roof inside. What did we order? I can't remember. I don't know. Well, we've got an that's arancini. That's arancini. I think she broke that open to see whether the cheese has melted. We have something that's got fruscuccio in it and yeah, no idea. Blue. And we've got a sweet one, which is the typical sweet dessert for the carnival. But there are a lot more of these that I want to try because that's just one and some of them look a lot more homemade. It's very hot. You can see the steam coming off it. So it's fried prosciutto and cheese. It's a bit like French toast. I have been warned it is hot. Oh yes. Really hot. That's what you get. Yeah, it's kind of like... It's not bread, I think it's mainly doughy batter, isn't it? Yeah, a bit Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, very Yorkshire pudding. But with cheese and prosciutto. So that is the arancini. Quite tasty. A little bit dry. I would say it looks a bit dry. If any of you guys have watched for a while, you know that for me, arancini is like probably my favourite food. Not that bothered about that one, to be honest. It doesn't look the best, if I'm honest. Six out of ten, if that. These are the fritella, fritella. Something like that, yeah. It's full of cream inside. Cheers. Cheers. It's a bit lemony. They look like, on the outside, they look like donuts, but they don't look like donuts at all. Not like donuts. The taste, though. The taste is absolutely spot. I love the taste of that. Do you? Mm. So that little lot came to fourteen euros. Helen's just said off camera, if that's the first time you've ever had. Arancini, that will be the last time we've ever had Arancini. For now, the best ones still for me are the ones that we had in the train station in Rome. Yeah, so if you ever go to Rome and you go to the main train station, next door to the main train station is a food market where you can buy your weekly provisions, but also they've got stalls in there that sell lots and lots of street food and you can buy and it. And there's little bars and, and things like that. And have a drink. And the Arancini there was absolutely like, superb. We're going to try somewhere that's been recommended by a mate of mine, Andy. And if it's no good, Andy, I'm coming for you in Torquay. <laughs> Actually, Torquay's not a bad shout, I like Cornwall. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> That stuff for me is a no, 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 no. Gin tea, green tea. What we've got is that's like a cod in batter. They're like um, meatballs. They say yes. polpetti di carne. They do on a, they do a polpetti, which is a meat, a, a ball, and vegetables as well. Just if any of, in case any of you are a vegetarian. Uh, some dried tomatoes. So it's not all meat. Uh, we think that's sal salted cod. Yeah. And anchovies or boccaronis. Boccaronis. In oil and it looks like red peppercorns. pepper peppercorns. Yeah. I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. We might come back tomorrow. Maybe, unless we see somewhere else that we fancy, but that were a good shout. Enjoyed it. Yes. Uh, the bill was 24 euros for that little look. 
So all the tapas that you saw that we had and the two drinks. You can't say the tapas. The chichetti that we had and the two drinks. So the police were stopping us in one particular place, not letting people cross the bridge. Kind of like one-way traffic. So we're trying to navigate and look how tight these alleyways are. Yeah, um, Google Maps is not liking it at all. Just one coronetto. <laughs> I keep thinking that. <laughs> Welcome to St Mark's. Welcome to St Mark's. After a tortuous walk through some very narrow streets. It's really, really unbelievably busy. Behind us is the, the tower. The bell tower. I can't remember what it's called, but we're going up there in a little bit. And also behind us, I think, is uh, the Basilica. Yeah, which we're going into too. Uh, there are construction works in the square, so it's not probably as, as idyllic as what people would yeah. expect when you come to this. I mean... I've just got to say, it's been a real um, struggle getting here, to be quite honest with you. We've had to, we've had to fight our way through crowds. Yeah, and which we really shouldn't expect now. anyway. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a, another little bit more of a mooch. Well, we've only got 20 minutes before we go inside there, I think. Yes. So you need but to get we're going to get, get some more people as part them. of the parade. Yeah. We will not be having any drinks or anything on the square, as we understand it. A coffee in a place like this is typically around 18 euros each. So that's St Mark's Basilica there. You nearly caught me then. Sorry. Nearly caught me. Yeah. Next to it is the Doge's Palace. You can see it. Do you want to see? Yeah, I think we can see. Have a look at this.
Palo de Oro to come in is five euros apparently. We got it as a combined ticket. This is the Palo de Oro. Yeah, but it is. The only intact Gothic example of something in the world. I can't remember what. Tell you what, I'm going to start charging people to see me because I'm the only one in the world. I don't think you'd make much money, Andy. <laughs> Check out my OnlyFans. <laughs> Did you know? What? It's a tapestry. Is it? And then it's replaced by gold, and it was ordered in 1102 by Constantinople. Ah, there you see, it's more interesting now. You're not going to be able to hear me because my microphone's on my coat and I took my coat off. Oh, she's a tickets for 12 euros each. That included the Palo de Oro which is a separate ticket so I which think the, yeah I think the ticket to just come into here I think is no I think it's six euros three is I saw it on there it's all right, okay um, it's not that big it's not like St Peter is it St Pe Peter's Basilica <clears> in Rome I'm gonna say it as it is it's not worth your money not unless you're religious it yeah I probably We've agree with better. Andy I Under prefer Mesquita better. Oh yeah, that's that, the, the mosquito in Cordoba is fantastic. In Rome. Well, is it, Saint, is it Saint Peter's Basilica in uh, in Vatican at, at the Vatican? I'm not sure, but there's the ones that weren't even in the Vatican that, that we saw but, that were fantastic. That, yeah, but that's lovely. I mean, we didn't buy tickets for the museum, so maybe if we'd have got the tickets for the museum, we could go upstairs and everything. It might be a bit different. Now then, gorgeous, what's that called? Uh, it's called the Bell Tower. That's where it says on the tickets. And we've just been to the top. And luckily for us, there is a lift because the ones that we've done in the past, you have to walk up, which are a killer. That would have killed us. That, well, we would have done it, but it would have been, we would have been knackered by the time we got to the top of it. The views were stunning, but it's very misty. So that spoilt the views really, but I can imagine during um, a time when it's not as foggy, that would be spectacular. If you didn't know, that's the Rialto Bridge. Yeah. And it's... A wee bit busy. 
This is the Rialto Bridge. Oh my it's god. Crazy. It's crazy. Like I'm just seeing the crowds down the bottom. I'm gonna put you guys over the top so you can see. Milk of mother-in-law. We've had things like this from Rome before. We've still got some left. And we've had them for like uh, three, four years. Well, three years. since last time we went to Rome, so three years, yeah. Um, so we're going to get some more because they're good. They're dried and they, they add a lot of flavour to well, the stuff. Well, what, what we do is we mix, when we're doing like the, the, you might have seen this cooking before, when we're doing the pâtés with the mince, we mix a bit of this in with it and it gives us some uh, great flavour. The pâtés, yes. not the pâtés. No, the pâtés with mince. Yes. Now these are called fritelli and they're a delicacy or basically it's the sort of thing that they do for carnival this is a chantilly one it looks chantilly like chantilly cream yeah and the other one i think it's got raisins in it the other one's the the local delicacy mm. one isn't it that's so much nicer than that one we had earlier is it mm. it's stuffed with cream look at that you're like yum yum stuffed with cream they're delicious mm. I did like the hint of lemon in the other one. No, these are so much nicer. And they taste a little bit greasy, I thought, these. But they're nice. This is the traditional looking one. Nothing in the middle. I think it's lemony. This one's got sugar on the outside as well, hasn't it? And covered. But I prefer the cream one yeah, or the lemon one. definitely. But they've got tiramisu ones, they've got chocolate milk. Which but we know the Venetian one. Yeah. But we should try some other flavours tomorrow. I've just bought some salt, some flavoured salt with uh, alabaca, uh, basil. There's quite a few places doing, um, and they're doing the sun-dried tomatoes as well. And the dried chilies, look at those, they look like bunches of flowers. Yeah, just, uh, just move past so you can see. There, look. This is a spa. Look at down there, there's a stage at bottom. Oh my god. <laughs> good morning. This is without the mic on at the minute, but good morning anyway. Uh, last night we called into a, a really nice looking restaurant, it looks really pretty. We went in and it smelled fantastic. We didn't call him for food, we called him for a drink after we'd, eat, after we'd had food. Food last night was really good actually. Yes, uh, and hopefully food tonight will be really good. But the restaurant is... Uh, that's where we're planning on going tonight. The, uh, I think he was the owner, he was a really nice guy actually. And uh, it smelled fantastic. We asked him what it was, and it was pork cheeks. <laughs> There's no doubt we're going to be going there because I'm obsessed with pork cheeks. This, believe it or not, is the hospital next to a church. <laughs> okay. Believe it or not, today is Sunday and this is the first time we're trying pizza. Now, Helen might be able to explain what we ordered. We ordered a... Diavola, which has got spicy sausage on it. 
and uh, Quattro Stagione, which has got ham, artichokes, salami, mushrooms, can't remember, it's got all sorts on it. She's going to kill us with the chilli oil. Should I put a bit on that one as well? Yeah, why not? There. I've got some tablets. <laughs> I enjoyed that, and the oil is really, I like the oil. It's lovely and crispy and uh, thin, which I like. Yeah. I don't, I don't like thick, crispy. So Randy does, but I don't. But this is nice. It's wafer thin and crispy. It's lovely and a little bit spicy. This is the Diavola. It has got a little burn to it. That's good. Uh, the bill came to 37 euros for the two pizzas and two, two drinks. Uh, service charge was 12% and we just left them 40. I enjoyed that. Yeah, me too. It was very, very nice. Just need a gondola now. Yeah. Guess we're going on the gondola. Yeah, I'm just going to get a photograph of it. Where's your water wings? <laughs> yeah, this is where we fall in. <laughs> the trip that we're doing is 45 minutes. You can, you can have a 30 minute trip. Which it's is doing Bridge of Sighs and yeah, Doge's, Doge's Palace. Palace and everything, yeah. Um, so the 45 minutes is 120 20 euros, not each, between us. Which the 30 minutes is 80 euros between 120 us. 120 is probably, between us is actually all right, because yeah, I was 60, expecting, yeah. 60 euros each. I was kind of expecting Thanks, Nick that. and Rich, you've bought me this. Well, that, and I've bought me for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun. Ooh, it's a long way down that. I've only got little legs. So we've got little legs. <laughs> There. Don't walk the boat. Yeah. Grazie. <laughs> rock the boat, don't rock the boat. Baby. baby. Rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. <laughs> so, here we go. <coughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. I can't get this any further back, actually, which is a shame, because... Just a one cornetto. <laughs> At least he's not Give redoing it. it to me. <laughs> Get ready for the uh, hold on tight. The water, whatever it's called. Water taxi. Maybe <laughs> yeah. working a sweat up with this. Yeah. We've been out to sea. Yeah, it was a bit choppy, a bit as scary. you were seeing. Andy was enjoying that very much. Yeah. It's a bit cold as well. Yeah, it's getting a bit fresh. Not really good, but really cold. They're very ornate, aren't I don't know they? If you can see this through the glass. Look at the elephant. They're mass at a different level, aren't they? Yeah, a rhino. And the fish. This is immense. There's got to be thousands of different ones in here. Everywhere you look. They're unbelievable, aren't they? Yeah. You see something like that would look nice on my wall outside. It looks, machine, it looks completely different on in real life to what it does on camera, even though I can see it on camera looking at the screen. Yeah. That looks like it's kind of white in that lot. It's not, it's actually all silver. Just, At least we've been able to film some in. Yeah, there's just too, too many in here to get them all. Just, I'm impressed with these. Yeah. 
we're just going to tell you. So, look at this one. Go on, tell them. How much is that one? 650 euros. And I'll give you another example the rabbit. So, if we can get the rabbit around here, which is stunning. Can't really can see it? it properly though. Can you get it? Yeah, there you go, look. 680 euros, that one. Oh, just. Yeah, Egyptian. Just and the dogs. Yeah, just been bump into it. Yeah, that dog, that dog one there, is a hundred and ten. Let's watch Helen's face when she gets back. <laughs> right, okay. Have a guess. Have a guess how much the bill was. No. We had two coats. Two diet cooks. How much? Well, we've just paid the heating bill. <laughs> <laughs> it cost us 20 euros for four cokes. That's scandalous. Ta -da. Now it's our last night in Venice and we're absolutely <coughs> knackered to be quite honest with you. We've walked, what we are, we've walked kilometres and kilometres today. We booked this restaurant last night. Andy, I can't remember what it's called, but Andy will insert a little bit of footage of the outside of it now so that you can see what restaurant it is just in case you come in to visit Venice and you fancy somewhere nice. What's that? It smells Ooh, what's nice. What's a nice little bit of bread? That one, it's got really strong aniseed. It's like eating a piece of sambuca biscuit or something. So this is the tagliatelle bolognese that I've got there. That's the prawn spaghetti. Yes, that looks really good. I would say that, are they prawns or are they langoustines? Yeah. yeah. Is it Lovely. good? Yeah, really good. Nice. I think we might have um, hit lucky here. It's a little bit salty, I think, but the flavours. That might be the just, Parmesan cheese, though. Yeah, the flavours are just. Mm, try that. I'm going to be covered in food by the time I've finished eating. You know, it's going to be all down the top and everywhere. Delicious. Good food makes me happy, and I'm happy. And, and the. Um, the way to suggest that we don't put, we don't have parmesan cheese on the fish dish. Yes. Bread's going to come in handy. Yeah, they are good, aren't they? Yes. That was stunning. I'm going to call it. That's possibly the best tasting pasta dishes I've ever had. Ten. Yeah. 100% 10. That were absolutely beautiful. Really, really good. This smells divine. So we've got pork cheek on polenta with cabbage was... and then we've got liver, Venetian style on polenta as well and it smells absolutely stunning. This is absolutely dropping to pieces. Look at it. Oh, they've been cooking a long time. It says cooked on a slow heat. Low and slow. That is stunning. Is it? Oh, it's delicious. <clears throat> yeah. But it's basically liver and onions. And this is on polenta. Nice. Yes. So this is the liver. It's dropping to pieces. It's lovely. Really, yeah. really nice. And lots of onion. And the onions taste beautiful. This is where I've got to learn. If this, this is. I mean, I wonder if they cooked it actually in the. It's it looks like it's wrapped in cabbage. That's look, what I'm saying. Look. See the cabbage so I'm wondering it. if they cooked it in the wrapped in the. I think they probably did, yeah. Cooked completely different to however I've ever had. 
caviadas before. But cooked to perfection. <sighs> this liver is just dropping to pieces. You enjoying that? Mm. Mm. Yum, yum, mm -hmm. yum. Bloody yum. Number one meal we've had in Venice. I would say. I'm trying to think back if I've actually had a nicer meal in Italy. And this could be perhaps the nicest meal oh, I've ever eaten oh, in Italy. Oh. Oh. And she's topped it off with a homemade tiramisu. tiramisu dessert. The proof is in the pudding. You need to try it. That is so good. <laughs> the bill came to 9520. It's stonking. Very nice. So yeah, definitely if we come to Venice in here. If we come to Venice again, we'll come back for another oh, meal. Definitely. But we might just have pasta, pasta and pasta. Good morning. Morning. Monday morning. We're walking back to the people mover which is what it's called I think, to get us to the bus station to then get us to the airport we've seen a lot of people with bus chairs to be honest if you've got kids the bridges typically don't have ramps if, 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 they're, using, if they're using a bus chair you can't get anywhere here in venice without going over bridges you've got to and there are steps up every bridge has got steps up and steps back down apart from the big bridges on the main canal and they have got ramps on them but i said to andy if you've got children and you're bringing bus chair it would be a nightmare we've seen some families struggling but even worse than that if you're in a wheelchair I do not know how you would manage to see Venice. Yeah. I don't think if you're in a wheelchair, you can see the area where the cruise ships come in, and that would be it. Yeah, the main canal, that's about yeah, it. Yeah, so. you'd not manage to get around Venice at all if you were in a, if you were in a wheelchair, which is really unfortunate. Now, when you get off the bus, you'll see the signs for the people movement. It's a bit confusing, and even when you turn it into English, it's, it's a confusing. bit confusing. So. <clears throat> Select your language. Select your language, English. Buy, buy tickets. Ticket. People mover, because you can buy people mover, you can buy the water taxis, or you can buy everything. But we just want people mover. People up. mover. There we go. Oh, that's it, 150. People mover and bus and tram, so. <clears throat> it lasts you for 75 minutes, the ticket, I think. Yeah, I think it's one of them. Yeah. So we need two. Three euros. The price you want to be paying is 150 and each. It, and it took us about half an hour to do it. The yeah, and it was a bit stressful the other night. Yeah. So we were trying to go, ah, ah, so no, no. It's not the quickest machine. No, and wait when your tickets have come through because it will give you a change. There you go, you've got a couple. So there you tickets. It. Yeah, but then. So I guess, I guess we're waiting. Yeah, you've just got to tap it to get in to where the people will raise them. And there are only two other stops apart from this one. So where the bus drops off is the first stop if you come in this way and then to get into the centre of Venice is the last stop. And like Andy said, it is like the monorail that you get at MCO Airport in Orlando for you Disney lovers. Yeah. That's us back in Alicante. Yeah, holiday done. Uh, next stop, umbrella parking, pick a car up and... Uh, Home and tea for all friend. Yeah, I'm back in the office tomorrow. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Even better than that, share it with all your friends. Yeah, and leave a comment. Yeah, we like comments. Um, have a good one.